How's it feel back in the pool? Solid time tonight. How, how do you assess where you are right now? Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good time. Um, it's yeah, it's a weird part of the season. I think for everyone, everyone's in a different place, and uh, with the wind blowing, everyone had the same circumstances and I thought we, we did well. So yeah, I was uh, pleased with the swim beforehand. I said if I go 54 mid, I'll be happy. So yeah, I'm happy. Compared to this time last year when you were just getting back in, you didn't really know what your future in the sport was. What's it like now to you know have been back on the US team and maybe a little bit more secure in your place, I guess, right now? Yeah, um, I have more confidence in the water and uh, having an okay swim because the time really was okay. Happy, I'm happy with it for now, but uh, having an okay time or an okay swim isn't as detrimental as maybe if I was less confident because I wasn't making on the team. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a little easier just to focus on training and not about the results yeah. all the way through. Speaking of training, you have a new training partner, kind of, in Leah Smith. Yeah, uh, we don't meet up too often. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she's just a great positive influence uh, on deck. Everyone enjoys her, and she obviously works really hard. And it's a great addition to yeah Arizona swim. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. You have so many people coming back into the sport, um, just kind of after taking breaks post Olympics or post whatever, and believing in themselves to have longevity in the sport. Do you think that's because of you? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I mean a lot of guys have been doing it now, it's just, if there's a, uh, because of me, I think that people really like it, they can keep coming back, and um, there are people that are proving that, Derek Torres obviously uh, did it, and Jason Lezak, uh, kind of for the men, and I think if you have the passion for it, your body's going to be able to handle it. Unless you're the super distance swimmers, maybe they have a little harder time. Even though marathon runners are pretty old, so I, you know, physically you just don't know. Uh, but I think if you're having fun and you can afford it financially to, to go for it, I, I think uh, it's a great decision for everyone that's coming back. That's awesome. Yeah. So after 2016, did you change anything outside of the pool? Yeah. I'm a lot more relaxed now. I, I'm relaxed with my diet. I'm relaxed with my schedule. I'm not so um, focused on making sure I'm always eating the right thing, always going to sleep. That doesn't mean it's all out the window, but I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying swimming, but enjoying life too. Enjoying being a dad. Enjoying. I'm not like cutting out time with Skyler. I'm like, okay, I need a nap right now. I can't hang out. I, I just don't nap because I want to hang out with Skyler. It's just I'm making different decisions because. It's what I want to be doing, not just always for swimming. And I think it's 2016, everything was always for swimming. Every choice I made was, is this the best thing for swimming? And that can put a lot of pressure on you, because at the end you're like, man, I, like, I better get my rewards, my, my just rewards here. Um, yeah, so it's just all that opportunity cost. Like all of you just putting everything into one, one basket. Now it's a very balanced life, and I think that's healthy for me, as personally, and maybe not for everyone. But for me personally, I think that nice balance is, is good. So this is the first time in what a year that Annie and Skyler have gotten to actually watch you race. What's that like just knowing they're here? Yeah, I, it was fun. I got to wave uh, at them for a while before the race. and Yeah, it, it's it's cool. I, I'm not positive Skyler recognizes me with a cap on. Uh, I'm actually no. pretty sure she doesn't. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's great having them on deck and uh, yeah, seeing me do my thing. As a dad, are you able to find any hobbies or like things to keep your brain active outside of swimming? Definitely. I still like my alone time. Uh, I, I love hanging out with Annie and Skyler and Annie needs her alone time. I think swimmers, when we're in the pool for two hours, we're not really talking that, that much and I, we're used to that and we've been conditioned for that you know, time to just mentally um, zone out other people and just think about yourself. and and figure your life out. And so, aside from the swimming part, yeah, I'll play video games or read, and that's kind of my time to, for just me. So I still have that little little bit of selfish time where I, I do stuff that I like to do. So I'd say, that yeah, those are the hobbies. Yeah, Caleb Dressel said he reads self-help books. Oh. What do you <laughs> Uh, Fantasy books, so just like, you know, Big Barbarians and stuff. 
Wolfgar is my favorite name. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We touched on this a little bit earlier, um, but not really. The changes in Arizona, new staff, just a, 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 a different situation right now. You're still there. What's what's that been like, kind of adjusting to the new staff and then maybe helping the team a little bit through, through the transition? Yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been good. Uh, the team's been great. I think at day and NCAA's they've had all best times on the men's side, so they they've been swimming well. The culture is great. They're happy. Um, yeah, I think the coaching staff's doing really well. Uh, I think having Jesse there's the the best uh, transition. I might have helped a little bit, just uh, but I really have been uh, less hands on in the coaching aspect and just more just being there is. I guess the stable swimmer, the guy that's, they see me doing it, so and it's kind of working for me, so it probably works for them. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think, where I can contribute a little bit, but yeah, I think the staff's doing great, the team's doing great, and they're on, yeah, I think they're on the rise. Uh, you were